Welcome, 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 welcome. How's it going, everyone? Let's have a look. Can I see you? Tracy, welcome. You're always like one of the first in. Ace of Sprays, how's it going? How'd you guys get in here so quick? I've literally just pressed go live. <clears throat> Martin, welcome. Matt, how's it going? We all good? You have the tab open ready, no way. Chris, welcome. I saw your post on Facebook. Thanks, mate. The van is fixed. The van is fixed. And so now I can move on to start thinking about sign writing. <clears throat> so I thought we could have a look together. I thought we could uh, <clears throat> just have a little look at the designs tonight. See what takes me fancy. They've sent me, um, they've sent me like an example, but I'm not keen to be honest. Evening Russ, how you doing? So I think I'm going to save this picture. And then we'll stick it in Photoshop and see what we can do. Russ, how you doing, mate? Might be a stupid question. How do I go about joining the Discord? Um, <clears throat> not a stupid question at all. Can you see the, um, the join button underneath the live stream? If you're on an iPhone, it might look slightly different. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> but if you go on my channel, let me switch accounts. Glossy, welcome. If you go on my channel here, and then uh, there's a join button underneath all of the videos and stuff, you can click on that join button. And these videos. And then you can. Um, Circle members and above get access to the Discord. Monday, 7.30. It's basically a ritual at this point. Nice. Um, so everything was basically going wrong with the AdBlue system. And so it just got sort of ripped out. Um, so I'd never have to worry about AdBlue again. Apparently it's like a massive design flaw in these vans where they just always go wrong. You right, girly? What are you doing? Good night. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Good to you though. Can I have a kiss? Ow. Sorry? Okay. Oh, thank you. That was lovely. Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Naya. <laughs> jump, jump down. It makes the we're really look in a different way. Yeah, because it's over here. Look. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I love you. I love you. Well done for having a perfect week. Should we see if we can do it again next week? Yeah, no, I do. Did you put a sticker on tonight? No. <gasps> Go and do that then. What? Can you shut the door, please? Evening, Jake. Welcome. <clears throat> I 
Welcome, Craig. <laughs> Wash fix, welcome. I had a little helper today. A little, he's not little, he's a full grown man. Um, my friend's my friend's brother is getting a little bit he's had enough of uh he's had enough of his current job at the moment and so he's been helping me clean some uh two patios and a driveway today he's doing good he's gonna come back out with me again on wednesday hey up shag batman welcome how's it going We did um we did a free patio today because I was supposed to go around and quote this chap, this one here. I was supposed to go around and quote him twice for his conservatory conservatory clean and gutters and um and patio and stuff. And I'd organised to go and see him the one day and I forgot, so I didn't turn up. And then I organised to pop organised to pop round another day when he was out forgot again so i rang him today and he didn't pick up and so i just buzzed around because i was i was in the next road along and i thought i might as well pop in and see if he's home and i heard the pressure washer going in the in the back garden and um and he'd he got his carter out and he started doing it himself and i thought oh i feel so bad so i just said to him look well i'll price up the conservatory for you but because we've finished a bit earlier than expected today we'll we'll do the patio for you today uh, sort of no charge and he was very grateful he, he said it he said it's not looked that good in 10 years since it's been laid <clears throat> it was uh this indian sandstone one here indian sandstone always comes up good pressure wash hypo shark welcome mate how you doing I saw your post with the dodgy joint it. Oh my gosh. This stuff. Absolutely terrible. I took it back today because we went and finished this one off uh, this afternoon. And I, I think I just needed like one more tub roughly. But I, I showed them this video. And the lad behind the till said, um, yeah, I think it's supposed to be hard. I've always been told it's supposed to be hard like that. And I was like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> and so... Luckily, they gave me uh, they gave me a free one. But yeah, I don't think I'll be buying from there again. I said, like, is it supposed to be vacuum sealed, or do they go out of date or whatever? And he said, he said they are supposed to be vacuum sealed, which none of them were. And he said, uh, he said they don't go out of date. But we got there in the end. Customer was happy, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> Let's see if I can um, pull this up. Oh, actually, before I do that, I've got a quote to do. It's a roof cleaning quote um, from this lady today. If the stream starts lagging, will you guys let me know? Because my computer's been a bit weird recently. I was supposed to put a video out today. And, um... My streaming software just kept crashing over and over again. It was so frustrating. I was up till midnight trying to edit the video. And, um... It was making me so angry. Um, here's the roof. It's actually only... It's only on the one side. What are those? Are they tiles on the front along the along the top there? Can't tell. Uh, that's the drive we cleaned today. And then I can see from 
the other the, the main road here the other side She should have asked me while I was there, and then I'd be able to have a proper look at it. But I'm guessing she wants it cleaning because there's um, there's moss dropping down onto the patio. I don't really fancy scraping another roof, to be honest. But I think I'd much rather pressure wash it. But it's weird that it's only like it's only on the one side. Look. So it's half of that building there. Where did you buy the joint it from? Um, there's a shop in my town called Buildland. Whoop. Let's see if we can get an accurate measurement on this. It's not the best. Lots of shadow. Can't tell where, where the front of the building ends. Fifty-five, and because it's a roof quote, I'm just going to do fifty-five times. What's the pitch look like? Let's do one point two. Not on that. Fifty-five times one point two, and that accounts for the pitch. So we're looking at about 65. Um, I've been charging, well, I've been putting my quotes together for around about eight meters. Eight pound per square meter for the roof quotes. But that doesn't even meet like a minimum charge. If minimum charge would for roof cleaning, you know, I'd expect between six and seven hundred pound, really. And it is. It is a decent roof in that you only have to technically clean one side. Like you wouldn't have to take the tower down and go back around the other side. This um, bit that sticks out at the, at the back is a little bit weird. I wonder how that actually looks from the side. Hmm. The other problem is the downpipe is on the neighbor's side. And so I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have to clear the gutter all the way along the back there. We'll probably have to get the vacuum over on the other side as well. Just to allow the downpipe to run freely afterwards. I think that's a really strange design to have um, to have like one shared downpipe on on the neighbor side like it's all, all well and good having it in the middle between both properties but to have it all the way on the one side even if your gutters are clear theirs could still be full of moss like it's just a really weird design hey, hey. um i realize this recipe is one kind of tuna per portion what recipe the one i was doing you know the one i did last time with pasta are you yeah. pre yeah. Oh, you do meals. Yeah. Mm. But you really like it, so well. Yeah, just yeah. Don't worry about me. Is that okay? Yeah. I've only got two tins anyway, so I'll have to go to the shop halfway through the week. Yes, yeah, fine. Are you enjoying that? Yeah, nice. You sure? Yeah, what? Right. I'm just wondering because I'm I'm really enjoying mine. Mm. I think I might want another one in a bit. Probably do half though, because that's gonna one that much milk is probably not good for you. I'm going to be off my tits tonight. Yeah, and two, don't waste all the milk. No one else drinks the milk, it's fine. I do in my tea, my other than my breakfast. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I think the caramel coffee is probably better than normal coffee in that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Very slurpable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about me. Sorry. That's okay. 
Res uh, what is the best chemical for removing cement and rust? Um, what surface are you trying to clean that from? <clears throat> it all depends on the surface, but generally for like cement stains, it's hydrochloric acid. And then for rust stains, I tend to use Smelly Gel Pro from Pure Seal. Is it a waste of milk or is it de designated for a good cause? I think if you're drinking it, it's not a waste, is it? Um, yeah, Smelly Gel Pro for rust. This is a product I've used before and extremely, extremely effective. It's like shocking how, how well it works. But if you're going to use hydrochloric acid, um, you, you don't want to be using that on things like tarmac and stuff or limestone. You need to be very careful on what you're putting, putting hydrochloric on. They've, um, they've got some, if you go onto the pure seal website and have a look down the side, you can look for like, um, um, Acid treatments, concrete and grout removers. That's probably the best one, concrete and grout remover. And then that'll show you all their products that do that job. There's some that don't contain hydrochloric. Welcome, Chelt. How you doing, mate? Um, you can use any iron fallout remover but i've actually done a side-by-side -side test and they they don't seem to be as concentrated as the pure seal stuff i literally did i used i used some some of that purple wheel cleaner that i had in the shed side by side on on the same rust stain and it worked but it took m many many more treatments so the the money that you'd save buying the weaker one the amount of treatments you need, you might not actually be saving any money compared to just buying the smelly gel. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Get the lad to scrape it while you relax and drink tea. That sounds sounds good, actually, doesn't it? It's a shame I don't have any pictures of it. Like, I swear, I used to be able to see the date the date that the image was took. Oh, is that it there? 2019 Google. Does that mean this image was taken in 2019? I swear you used to be able to see like the metadata on the image. Because it doesn't look very uh, mossy, but there's, there are quite a few trees in this area, so you'd expect it to be quite mossy. The patio was very green. I'm very well, thank you, mate. Good to know if you're stuck on the job, though. I mean, yes, yes, it is good to know. How much do you try? F how much do you charge for a resin drive clean per square meter? Um, I'd be at around about three pound fifty per square meter, including a chemical treatment. I've never cleaned resin. Surprisingly, I don't know why. I've just never had any quotes to do with resin, which is strange. But apparently, resin takes a lot of rinsing. Uh, this is Google Earth. You can do a very similar thing with Google Maps. It's just um, in Google Earth, you can use this measurement. Just trying to get it so you can actually see it. In Google Earth, you can use this measurement tool at the top here, which is very handy. Just make sure I haven't missed any messages. What are you drinking? Uh, it's an iced coffee. It's basically a big tablespoon of coffee, tablespoon of sugar, um, put it to the top with milk and then put some ice in it. It's really good.
when you apply smelly gel use a little brush don't tip it out it'll go a long way then yeah i i uh when i used it before i used so much of it on this job and looking back at it now it's like just funny how much i used by pouring it out this one here look Sh yeah, you're right. If you've got like a little paintbrush in, in like a little, even pour a little bit in the lid and use a paintbrush and dab it on. Um, but as it was, I just sort of tipped it out. <laughs> Look how much excess I used there. Totally unnecessary. This this bottle would have gone a really long way, but I, I think I used the whole bottle on this patio. <laughs> so stupid. It worked though. Give it a little agitation. That's a rubbish song. <clears throat> Hi Jake, do you know if you can pressure wash a drive that's been previously sealed years ago, but not strip it to re or reseal it? Um, do you know what was used to seal it before? And are you are you trying to strip it, or are you, or are you trying to just pressure wash it and resand it? Um, th there are lots of occasions where I've had to pressure wash a drive, and it's clearly been sealed a couple of years ago, and the sealer started to fail. But yeah, you can you can pressure wash it. You you tend to. <clears throat> it depends on how it was sealed before. Like if if someone did a bad job before. And they're sealed over like black spots or stains or whatever. Or if the seal has failed and it's sort of gone white and cloudy in places, then you, you'll pressure wash it and resand it absolutely fine, but it just won't look great. It, it, there are some occasions where like it looks kind of frosty and white and white in patches, and it's yeah, it's just not great. But if you can find out which sealer they used, some sealers you can sort of re-emulsify and so you can pressure wash it to try and clean it up again and then you can reseal over the old sealer and it will sort of reactivate and re-emulsify the sealer and essentially bond polythene sealer it was sealed eight years ago and the guy wants it pressure washed and sanded only yeah just just crack on is it did you say it was block paving was it block paving? Yeah, because it needs needs sanding. Have you got any pictures? Feel free to send me a picture on Instagram. Does sodium hypochlorite have a shelf life, and if so, how long? Yeah, I think it's around about um, three months unopened and a month opened, I think. It might be six months unopened, I can't remember. It's not very long, and it depends where it's been stored as well. If it depended on the whether it's been in di direct sunlight or whether it's hot or cold outside, that can have a massive effect on how how good it is. Um, I can't remember the exact figures on it. I'm, I might be talking totally out my ass. I can't, I can't think now. But essentially, if you get a new barrel of hypo and you open it, um. Yeah, I reckon it's got about a month before it becomes like really ineffective. <clears throat> you could probably still use it, it just wouldn't be as good as it was fresh out the tub. <clears throat> but it's got I think hypo's normally got these little breather holes to stop to stop it expanding basically, because sometimes if it's in direct sunlight there's a chance that it, it'll expand. And so it's got these little air holes in the top, so air can get into the tub I think <clears throat> how much do you charge for Indian sandstone jet wash um, three pound per square meter if it's just water but I very rarely use just water I, I always use hypo on Indian sandstone um, so about three pound fifty per square meter so on a 75 
square meter um, patio. Be looking at about that kind of figure. If anyone wants to use this quoting tool, you can just go on to smelt.club and you can, um, you know, if the area needs resanding or sealing, you can pop in your prices of your product. Uh, normally on the website, it tells you how many quotes it needs and what kind of coverage it gets. And you can sort of work out how many liters and how much it's going to cost you. So that's, that might be quite useful for people. Um, also, I've got my trusted suppliers here, the people that I always buy from. When I say always, I don't always buy stuff, but um, these are the ones that I would buy from if I needed stuff. It loses strength over time. The percentage you buy is usually 13 to 15 percent, but you can definitely still use your ratios just become hot. But you can definitely still use your ratios just become higher. I was on the Pure Seal course last week. There you go. Hello from France, AI marketing. Welcome. <laughs> right, I've got a comp to play. Be on, be on and out. Have a good one, lad. Thanks, mate. A comp. I wonder what sort of competition he does. <laughs> How much are we thinking for this roof? Can someone throw some figures out for this roof? Because. Uh, It's not, it's not huge. <clears throat> it's 520 quid too cheap. Like it is only, it's, it's only the one side and it's only one run of gutters that's going to need clearing out afterwards. <clears throat> The only thing that's a, an issue is the drain. The drainage in the back garden is terrible, and it floods really easily. <clears throat> but I mean, last time I cleaned that last roof, I wasn't getting water all over the floor. I suppose as long as the as long as the the downpipes are free flowing and there's not loads of moss going down into the downpipes, that should catch most of the water anyway, shouldn't it? <clears throat> So we'll have to make sure the gutters are nice and clear first. I suppose it depends on how much moss is on the roof. If it's absolutely thick and caked in moss, then... Does anyone charge extra if there's more moss on the roof? Or is a roof clean just a roof clean regardless? Like if you pressure washing it, does the price go up if there's more moss? You're good. I'm learning so much from your videos. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm very glad. That makes me happy when people say that. You were on the course too as well. <laughs> Homes. Returning customer. Stick to the 520. Talk to the neighbor first. They might want theirs doing as well, especially if you're already going to have to clean the gutters on that side. That's a very good point. That is a very good point, because it's going to look odd with a line down the middle. I wonder if she's friendly with the neighbour. I I could put in a price of, I could put in a price of five twenty, and then say if your neighbours get, maybe a price of five three five, if the neighbours get theirs done at the same time, it'll be five hundred each. How about that? Does that sound reasonable? I still think 535 is very cheap for, for a roof clean. Granted, it's a fairly small one, but I still need to hire a tower, which is about 86 quid, and pay someone to help me. So that's like 200 quid gone straight away. Hi, Tracy. As a newbie and spending a lot of time on equipment, and spending a lot on equipment... Genu genuinely worthwhile for me. There's a lot to take on board. However, learn about different surfaces, products, etc. The book you leave with. Yeah, this book. This book is worth the, the price of the course on its own, I think. Just to be able to refer to this for stain removal, for which chemicals are safe on which surface, for which type of sealer to use on each surface. 
Like that book alone is worth the cost. I think. Five fifty. Five fifty for one or five hundred each. That sounds more appealing, doesn't it? Not very professional when you give a quote and then add an add an additional if the workload is much five sorry, not very professional when you give a quote and then add additional if the workload is Oh I see what you mean. So so if you give a quote and then you get you get on site and realise actually there's more moss than you expected and then you up the price because there's more moss. You're saying that's not very professional. I agree. Which is why I like to sort of try and get the quote right first time. And if I never up the price when I get there, which is why I don't like giving estimates as well. I don't do estimates because if I get there and access is rubbish or water pressure is rubbish or drainage is rubbish, the last thing I want to do is tell the customer, oh, it's going to be way more than I thought it was going to be. I always just stick to the original price that I gave, even if something goes wrong or something comes up. Like the this jointing job that I did, um, Um, <clears throat> so this job, I thought I was being conservative when I, when I brought four tubs of jointing compound with me, I thought I'll, I'll easily be able to refund one of them based on my experience in the past with how far these, this stuff spreads. Um, I thought I'll only need probably three, but I'll take four just to be safe. I ended up using five full tubs on that. And like they ain't cheap, they're about 35 quid each. The, but the joints were massive. Um, but I just swallowed the cost, like I didn't charge the customer any extra because I give them a price and that, that was the price. Just because it took more than I thought, it doesn't mean I have to pass that cost on to the customer. Mm, sometimes I will. Depending on if I if I feel like I've underquoted or not, I don't know. I'm contra I'm contradicting myself because sometimes I have I have done that in the past. Shall I send her a message now? I'm just gonna five fifty for one. Including the gutter wash. Um, it. Hi. And the roof would be 550. Including a gutter clear. Including. Which includes clearing the gutters. Or I could do 500 each if your neighbor decides to have theirs done too. All waste will be left at the property as before. Um, I'm just going to quickly check my availability because I always like to give a rough availability just so there's not as much back and forth. Okay, when do you think you can do it? Okay, I could probably do it this time. I'm just going to give a rough availability. Uh, it's looking around about a month from now. Oh, actually, I could do Sunday the 21st. I have, I have availability, ability, Sunday 21st, if that's convenient.
have theirs done at the same time specifically not just that your neighbors want theirs doing as well but they need to have it done at the same time thanks jake right that's been sent let's see if we get anything back from that <clears throat> Uh, with that in future, Jake, fill in with kiln sand first and leave five mil, then add your sealer. And leave five mil to then add your sealer. Luke, what do you mean there, mate? Are you talking about these slabs? Uh, I feel like sealing has a bad rep. However, after doing the course, I wouldn't decline offering it now. Yeah, it does. It does really fill you with confidence. That course, doesn't it? It it gives you the like the a bit of confidence to well, you know what you're talking about now. Even if you haven't physically done one yet, you you still you're educated on it. More daylight now, so more money. Winner, winner. The driveway I mentioned, I didn't get a picture stupidly. The customer was more concerned about the marks on his patio, which I'm not sure on either. I can send you a picture of that if you'd like to help. Yeah, definitely. Send it through. DM me, bro. Send it on uh, Instagram if you've got Instagram. What is this song? I got demonetized on YouTube last, uh, last week. After last week's live stream. I think it was because I was watching some YouTube videos and stuff that had that had uh, had like other people's music and stuff in it, and my channel just got fully demonetized. All my members, all the memberships got paused, and uh, all my ad revenue from the month was just gone. And it was like you're no, you're no longer a YouTube partner. It's like okay, <laughs> no warning, nothing, no copyright strikes, nothing. So I had, to, I had to do an appeal video. I had to like sit in my van, film myself saying, I don't think I've broke any rules. Um, you know, this, this, and this. And I had to like look, I had to, I had to be very specific and address, address the, uh, what did they call it? The allegations. I had to address each allegation and say why I think it's wrong. But I think it was just a bot that it was like a the algorithm just picked up that I was watching other people's videos, copyrights. Um yeah. Sorted now anyway. The less chit chat the better. I always prefer texting. Yeah. I actually gave two prices on the spot today, which I don't normally do, but I went in a bit higher than I used to. Every time I've given a price on the spot, I've always regretted it because I've always gone in low for whatever reason. I think I'm trying to do the customer a favor and trying to be nice to them, but I always underprice myself. But now I'm a bit more confident with my pricing. Um, yeah, I won two. I won two conservatories today, and a patio and a set of gutters and the gutters are easy because I do 40 pound a side on the gutters and they had a conservatory as well so I did 40 40 and another 40 for the conservatory because it's quite a big one plus the roof clean on the conservatory so yeah I'm getting a bit I'm getting a bit better with my on the stop on the spot pricing with the smaller stuff I'll quite happily price it on the day now in front of the customer but with the bigger stuff i'll always go back and measure it up but i reckon i recommend anyone just starting out don't give don't give prices on the spot take loads of pictures measure up measure up on google earth if you have to go home and work it out properly because then you've not got the customer you've not got the pressure of the customer in front of you saying oh that's more than i was expecting can you not could you think you could just do it 
for this. And then you're like, oh, well, I could, I could do it for this. And then you end up talking yourself down another 30, 40 quid. Is 40 pound a side to clear and clean? No, that's just to vacuum the gutters. And I'm around about the same price to wash the faces, soffits and gutters as well. It's around about 40 pound a side normally. So if they've got three sides, if it's like an, an end, end terrace, is, is that what they call it? And there's gutters on three sides, it's 40, 40, 40. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's written down then, so there's no there's no weirdness when when it comes to them paying the bill. <laughs> hey up, geezer. You use the sicker resin grout. I've heard mixed reviews with it not setting correctly. Well, uh, some some of these brushing compounds, if it's cold and rainy for a week afterwards, it, it still might not be set. You know, seven days later, it's got a it's got. A, if it's too damp, it won't set. It's like when when you when you finish with the tub and you've got like a big a big load in the bottom of the tub, it tells you to submerge it in water because then it won't set, it won't go off, and you can still use it up to like a month later. So if it's submerged in water, it won't set. Equally, if your patio is submerged in water, it's never going to go off, is it? I didn't know that until. last year I think it's cheaper in Wales I'm thinking about buying a gutter vac do it um, although gutter season is generally sort of after September between sort of September and March, I'd say gutter season is, and then the rest of it is pressure washing. But I, I actually did gutters all year round last year. Oh, I need the mobile app to view your message. That's annoying. That is annoying. I'm sorry. Um, can you actually? I can save them. I'll save them and I'll put them in the in the Discord. That's um. That's quite a nice job, actually. If you can, if you can sort this, that that would be a really nice job. <coughs> So it's Indian sandstone, and then it's obviously got the resin all around it, and then it's got these weep holes. It's got the weep holes in the, um, what do they call these supporting walls again? I can't remember. It, I mean, you'd expect a stain like that to be sort of rust, really, but it looks like it's just mud that's coming out from underneath. Have you confirmed with him that it's actually rust? Retaining wall, thank you. The wall looks like the morning after a bad curry. That's terrible. Um, I mean, the patio is not even dirty, is it? Doesn't need much on that patio. So there's a chance that you can just use hypo on that. And, um, and you might find that that comes up quite well. If, if pressure washing, it doesn't work. Presumably they've already tried to pressure wash it and it's not worked. 
Um, but if hypo doesn't work, if it's organic staining, hypo will probably work, even on the render as well. If it's rust, you'll be wanting you'll be wanting Smelly Gel Pro. Smelly Gel didn't react. Oh, you've already tried that. Okay. Have you tried hypo on it? Yeah, I don't think it's rust, to be honest. I think it's organic. It just looks like mud. Or poo. But it's not going to be poo, is it? If you look at logically what's going on, it's got weep holes in the bottom to stop um, water and moisture being trapped behind that wall with all that um, turf and mud. And so the water gets drained out down the bottom and there's no reason for rust to be coming out the bottom there because uh, there's no presumably there's no metal down there so it might just be how would rust get there yeah yeah I don't think it would Jake have they tried to pressure wash it do you know <clears throat> Looks like a fairly new patio, to be honest. Like, the grout looks fairly new as well. Might be a bit of moss in there. I can't quite tell. And the render looks brand new. Like, if you look in this picture, the rest of it looks immaculate. It's a nice, um, nice little patio, that, isn't it? It's proper posh. Someone's paid a fortune for that. What is the retaining wall retaining? Mud. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so regarding the jointing compound, um, someone sent me this video on Instagram earlier, and this is the video I was looking for. I'm going to have to keep it on mute because I don't want to get told off again. Barkley, welcome. How are you doing? So here he's saying don't mix sand and cement. Um, but there's this... Can I open this without... No. So you mix this like resin stuff with it, which activates it, I guess. And then it's a very similar process by the looks of it to like a, just a normal brushing jointing compound. But apparently it sets much harder. I didn't get the product name. I'm just going to have a little look. Didn't try hypo. He's tried to pressure wash it with the karcher. Okay. Yeah, try try hypo. Or um How long have you been doing this, Jake? How long have you been in Titan Neutral Pro Joint? Wow, that's a lot of money. Where can you get it from? <clears throat> 22 kilograms, which is around about the same as what I was using today for 35 quid. So this stuff is literally more than double the price. Permeable. Sorry, permeable bedding mix not required. Professional strength, self compacting and suitable for joint widths. Five mil upwards, that's interesting. The others are three mil upwards. Weed pressure washer and frost resistant. <clears throat> you can uh, 
ideal for patios and vehicles to be driven on as well. Suitable for natural stone and concrete paving. Oh. Wait. What's this saying here? What does this mean? I don't know what that in that table means there. I can't tell what that information is. <clears throat> Basalt grey and neutral. And then someone else put something in the Discord straight afterwards. Adam. Pro joint. Was that the same stuff we just looked at? Pro joint. Epoxy resin mortar. Pro joint. Titan. Oh, come on. This looks the same, but um, in different packaging. And this is uh, a little bit cheaper. Easy application without bending or kneeling. So you don't need to like unpack the joints. This is uh, pretty much exactly the same description as the other one. Two part resin system easily mixed and quickly applied as a slurry to dampened paving. They make it sound very easy, don't they? But it's not that easy. It takes a long time. <clears throat> started beginning of last year had hypo on the can had hypo on the van should have tried it but it looks like a salt deposit if you look at the pick with the drain um i mean the 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 damp the constant damp can draw salt out of um, bricks it, it could be seep salt could be coming out of here as well if it's if it's a hole drilled through brick and there's damp on the other side of that wall, um, like efflorescence and salt will come out of that as part of the mix as well. <clears throat> Is it that bit there you're talking about? Like a salty deposit on the right. That, that could just be... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it could just be because it's constantly wet in that area and it's drawing drawing salt through the... Uh... It's what happens with damp bricks. Um, a job that I went to visit the other day. I think I put it in the Discord. It's the worst efflorescence I've, I've ever seen. Here, look. And this was a retaining wall. Just because it was so damp on the other side. Let's see if my computer crashes. Probably will. So what I'm thinking
There's a couple of different options with my ban, I think. I think I want the logo on the door. Because um, that way, if the door's open, the open door isn't covering the logo. That might be too big, but <clears throat> you're gonna get it sign written. Yeah. That looks silver in that picture, doesn't it? The van looks silver, but it's not, it's black. I'd also quite like to um it's I'm I'm just gonna play about with some ideas because what am I trying to do here? What I was thinking about, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Right. Um, I think it might be cool to have this bit in my, uh, in my orange. But I'm not sure if it'll look rubbish. Oh, I forgot to do that back bit. Does that look rubbish? I think if these plastic bits were like, had that plastic buff you know what the bumper polish where it makes the black look really nice i think that has potential to look quite good and then i also want like a list of services but i was thinking about having the list of services up here um clearly clearly pressure washing is self-explanatory so i don't think i need to list that in the services but maybe um gutter clearing maybe all in capitals um gutter clearing pvc washing and then what else do i put on there roof cleaning I don't really offer roof cleaning. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to keep offering roof cleaning. Oh God. Something like that could look quite good. It's kind of a nice spot for it, really. Obviously, it'll have to curve with that line slightly. Or do you, or would that be better, like down here? No. There. That might look better. Is it? Oh my god. Neil, welcome. God, that scared me. <clears throat> Is that really loud for everyone else? Do the back quarter panel in orange as well. This bit here.
Damn it. That'll do. Surprised my PC hasn't crashed at trying to do all this. It's quite intensive to like live stream and photo edit at the same time. <clears throat> I think I'll pull in the logo that's got my um, phone number on it. Oh no. Can I change? No. The other thing I was thinking of doing, see that one's got my phone number. Might be better just to have it there. Is that too big? That looks quite good, actually. You know, I was also thinking black and orange stripes down the bonnet. Just like two racing stripes, like one black one, one orange one. Like on one side of the bonnet. That might look quite good, I don't know. The other thing I could do um, is <clears throat> let me just quickly try something because this could look really cool. do that and then I could have my white logo instead I saw another van like this the other day I can't tell whether it looked good or not It kind of almost looks like windows. When you make that bit black, it. I think that needs to be smaller. I think it's a bit posher when it's smaller. What about that? It looks more like a camper van now. And this orange is too bright. Not sure. Not sure I like that version. <clears throat> Looks good with the with the orange going all the way across on the bottom. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> Num phone number across the orange strip. That could work. Yeah, down the bottom of this door. Yeah, that might be better. Put your website in the orange bit. Yeah, this is like asking for some text down here, isn't it? I don't wanna, I don't know whether that text along the top is like too much a bit messy. The black background looks good, you think? You're very precise with those lines. Are you taking the piss? Are you saying I'm not precise? 
<laughs> I can't tell whether that's sarcasm or not. My van has the orange stripe, really. The only ones I don't like is the highway, is it highway operations or something where they've got the high vis stripes. Like, is it like red and orange and yellow, red, orange, yellow or something? I can't remember. Make yourself a QR code for your van, link it to your website. Anyone can scan your code and have it on your work clothing. I'm in the process of doing it. Do you really think people are going to scan your work clothing when they're just sort of walking past? I like the idea. I was speaking to my mate the other day. I like the idea of having a QR code on the back door. So if someone's in the vehicle, in a, in a car behind you, they can just sort of zoom in and scan the QR code. That might be worth doing. <clears throat> What if the orange bit was black and the text you put in was orange? We could try that. We could, um, We could put this text down there. Potentially. Oh. You know what though? That looks that looks half decent. Although Ooh, what about if we get rid of the black background? <clears throat> I don't know, I quite liked the orange before, to be honest. I did. I liked the orange and then the black logo. I don't think I like the black background. I feel like that's too much text. I don't know. <clears throat> the orange at the bottom will always get dirty, so your info won't be seen at the time, all the time. Are you a Wolves fan? I don't know what that means. Is that football? No, I don't. No, I'm not a fan of any football. <clears throat> Just sent you a picture of my van on Instagram. I don't think I can receive picture messages on, on the desktop version. Oh, I can, I can view that one. Why couldn't I view the other one? Oh, I like the um, squeegee. In the shape of a Y. That's pretty cool. Oh, you got the QR code down the bottom as well. All the text is very big, like the phone number is very big. It's all very clear, isn't it? It does just feel like quite a lot of text though for me. I still kind of want my van to look a little bit cool. Like I know it's going to be, I know it's a commercial vehicle, but I still want it to look cool at the same time. Did we try, did we try that? Can't remember if we tried that. That could work. That looks cool, to be fair. That looks like some sort of 
side skirt on a racing car. <laughs> and it makes the van look lower as well. I like having colour on the bottom because it makes it look lower to the ground, which I like. What about that, guys? What other services are like my pre predominant services? I can't even think what I offer now. I've obviously got pressure washing, gutter clearing, solar panels. I could do solar panels. Which one's more important? Roof cleaning at the moment or solar panels? Or PVC washing? Or do I try and fit it all in? <laughs> Honestly, try what I said. It's so much more professional. Um, use that reflective livery orange. Use reflective orange stripes at the bottom of your van. Like, um, like the highway ones. Like that. I don't like that, to be honest. I know it looks professional, but I think it looks really ugly as well. That's a nice orange. Like this stuff, this like, I don't know. <clears throat> Paint the whole van black and then all the text can be orange and then orange at the bottom strip would really pop. You think I can afford to paint my van black? Have you seen how big it is? Yours is solid orange. AC exterior clean. Are you on Instagram? Limited. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's a very cool shot, by the way. Half my page is hanging off. Yeah, look at that. Can only just see it. Have you got a different picture of you, Van? I did one like that recently. I thought that was the same property then, but it's not. Any more pictures of you, Van? Oh, you got the black and orange as well. Nice. Represent. Orange army. Yeah, look at that. That's sick. I definitely like the orange on the bottom. Maybe not this orange, though. That orange looks a bit rubbish. I was just pulling it from the logo, but I don't think I like it. What orange have you got there? Yours is a little bit dark, a little bit more premium, a little bit goldy. Mine's sort of a bit trippy. Your page is very good, by the way. Your, uh, your Instagram. All your pictures are bang on. This is a beauty of having someone working with you oh this is a tripod to be fair but i was going to say having someone to take pictures of you while you're working is is nice god look at that biocide and it all from the ground you got almost all the way to the top then that ladder looks handy is that one of them super expensive ladders <clears throat> that's a big pole isn't it
God, you've absolutely smashed that. You've done that in no time. I want to try and mount a camera without it wobbling on the scaffolding tower. That's the only annoying bit about trying to film roof cleaning. It's because you're rocking backwards and forwards. There's nothing you can do about stopping that camera from moving. <clears throat> you know what someone should invent? Like a massive tripod. Can you get like a really super... <laughs> Super tall tripod. That's like super stable and doesn't blow around in the wind. Yeah, you don't be carrying that around with you though, do you? <clears throat> the orange trim stands out more, definitely get noticed. You can put a silhouette of someone Spraying a pressure washer lance on the rear black section. Ooh, I like that idea. 200 quid for a full van paint. I don't think so, mate. <laughs> paint the van in Raptor, yeah. <laughs> it would look pretty sick, actually. I, I like the texture of that Raptor paint. It's like, it's not like orange peely, but it's like matte, isn't it? It's like speckly. It's like a, like a Canon camera. If anyone's got a Canon camera, you'll know what I mean. Yeah, that looks sick. I'd be too scared. I, I think you'd struggle to get like an even finish on that. And isn't it an absolute pain to wash? Isn't it difficult? To, oh. Oh. That looks sick. That looks like it's been professionally done, though. That's basically a sprinter, isn't it? The uh, the crafters. Basically the same van as mine, I think, underneath. I actually love that. This is a bad picture, but you sort of get the idea. Trying to get a design that looks good and that you're happy with is very difficult. Yeah, and especially when someone else is designing it for you. Um, you always want to make little tweaks, like it's never perfect. And so the last few times that I've well, the last time I sent the van sign writing off to get a quote, I, I did this. Like I, I went back in and designed it myself and then sent it back off to them, I think. British gas caddy, it's blue though, not orange. Services you most offer and, and that are most profitable. Pressure washing, roof cleaning, gutter cleaning, solar panels. Yeah, it's just the... It's just the, the roof cleaning that I'm not sure if I want to advertise yet. I haven't even got it on my website. Like, I don't advertise roof cleaning, but I do still get quotes come in. Just because I'm on my own, I, I don't really, I don't have an extra person to help out with the roof cleaning. And it's like, I don't know if I want to commit to offering that service because it's such a lot of work. All black plastics, including bumper, in orange. Ooh, I don't know. No, I think that would look weird. I was thinking about, like, an orange bonnet bra. I also want some wind deflectors, because I think they always look make the make a van look cooler. Can you get sprinter wind deflectors? Oh, you can get the sun visor. That might look cool. Yeah, something like this. That's what I want. Oh, the pictures are always rubbish. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, that's what I want. 
I'm not sure I like the fact that it goes all the way down the side bit there, because normally they sort of... Normally they're a bit more triangular on a car, but this one's like more of a box and makes it look more like a camper. But I do still think it adds a little bit of... Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, look at that one. That's what I want. Yeah. That's not bad, actually. 50 quid. I'm going to buy that tonight. I also want to buy one of these tonight. Someone was asking in the Discord the other day about um, where can I get, like, nozzles for my for my machine. And then someone else mentioned this J-Rod a while back. I keep saying someone because I don't I don't remember anyone's names, to be honest. Um, I speak to so many people every day, it's very difficult to keep track of names. But this J-Rod I thought was quite cool when someone uh, showed it to me. So I'd probably want... I don't know if I'd use a zero degree. Um... But I'd want 090s on mine, I think. But then the 40 degree one would be more of a, a rinse down one. So maybe I'd want to, maybe I'd want to over, over jet that one to like a 10 or a 12 so that it's like lower pressure, but higher flow. So that it's better for rinsing down. Something like that. Oh, God, that is quite steep, though, isn't it? Almost 60 quid. Probably plus delivery. That's quite a lot of money, to be fair. But, I mean, save it, saving having all your little nozzles rolling around. I think I'm, I'm still looking for my green one, but I keep mine in my toolbox because I've got nowhere else to put them that they won't get lost. 30 litre per minute. Size 20 and 60 nozzles. Oh, for soft wash applications. Oh, people are using these for soft washing. That's interesting. <clears throat> That's some old photos need to delete them. No, I think they're fine, mate. You got some good photos there. What's that you're using there? Oh, is it a twin turbo? Do you rate the twin turbo for roof cleaning over just a standard turbo? Oh, that's a mossy one, isn't it? I bet you got absolutely caked. Only use the twin turbo on roofs. J Rod's the amazing bit of kit. Everything you want in one bit, it's nice. Yeah, I, I've lost all my nozzles now. I've only got a turbo and a 65 degree rinse down nozzle. That's pretty much all I've got. I'm sort of scrounging around. Normal day at the office, fair enough. <clears throat> I've seen a few vans that are total orange with black writing, certainly stands out. Yeah. Yeah, it just it would just mean I'd have to get the whole van wrapped. And to wrap a sprinter, like that is cool. Look at that. Okay. I can't expand it. You can, Why can't you expand images on Google anymore like you used to be able to? It takes you. It always takes you to a website. Before, you could click on the image and it would open the full-size image years ago. But I haven't been able to do that in years. 
Has Google changed that? Or is it just me being an idiot? I used to live, love Google Images. And now it's just like really awkward to navigate. Look, I don't want to open the website. I just want to open the image. That does look cool, doesn't it? Right click, open image in new tab, but it, it opens it smaller. No, it doesn't. You're absolutely right. Yes, it does. Look, that, that was open image in new tab and it's like a low quality, small image. And then to, if you go onto the website, you get the full size original image. <clears throat> but yeah, now that the van's fixed, it means I can actually, uh, it sounds silly, but I can actually carry on spending money on it, like with confidence that it's not just going to break and cost me more money. Like I wanted to make sure I could fix it first before I got it sign written, just, just to avoid like wasting my money basically. I'm quite liking this, you know. I think I need to put... Do I need more detail on that? The orange is great, and the black bit that you would want would look like a window. You like the black. You like that. I'm not sure I do. And that would obviously be a lot more expensive than not having that. And I'm not sure I like the white logo on the black background. I think I prefer the white background with the black logo. I think that looks cleaner and less like in your face. Make your sign cover the whole side. Make your sign cover the whole side. What do you mean? Like. Like something like that. White background all day. Yeah, white background looks cleaner and better. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Just put a QR code on the side panel. <clears throat> put your phone number bigger. I think the phone... Yeah, I just don't want loads of scattered text everywhere. I want to see if I can find the design they sent me. Not sure if I'm going to be able to find it. Oh, I got it. So this was with my old, the original stuff that I sent them. Um, had like a navy blue in it. What is this window? How can I, can I zoom in? Yeah. So the original, the original stuff that I sent them, like when I got the first van, I had this sort of dark navy blue, um, which I don't want anymore because it just doesn't match any of my brand. And it was just sort of like a quick decision. He's also put some photos on the back as well which I don't like and I just think this 
is too much text, personally. Like, I like that it displays all the services, but I think it's too much. It's, it's You don't know where to focus your eyes. Whereas something like... Something like this just looks a little bit cleaner. But it still does the job. Like, obviously it needs to have the phone number on it as well, so it would need to be that one. I think that does the same job, it just looks cleaner. I don't need the words commercial and residential because that's a given. Do you, does anyone think the words commercial and residential are necessary on the side of a van? Or do you think that's just obvious? <clears throat> I don't like the idea of the QR code personally. I'm not sure. It's a lot of it's a lot of surface area or something that might not even be used. <clears throat> There's a couple of free design sites that you can spend some time on. Uh, John, in what way? What do you mean, mate? Like it shows you the layout of the vehicle. Like it'd be cool if I could type my vehicle in. And it brings up like an image like this. Like a template. That would be cool. What was the issue with the ad blue in the end? Um, Nox sensor. N-O-X sensor but the the knock sensor had been replaced by mercedes like over a year ago um so it shouldn't be that it's th there are some other faults within the within the adblue system and it's just sort of throwing everything out so he's done a forced regen i think on the forced regen on the dpf i think um to make sure that that's not blocked and then he's just mapped mapped it all out. <clears throat> I would have all the text above wheel tops. Muddy and dusty would cover it up. You do make a solid point. I don't know whether you were the same chap that said it earlier, but you are potentially right about that, I think. Um, that text just kind of fits there, though. It does look nice there. Yeah, if it does get dirty, you think up there, or even higher. I could put it right at the top again, but I think it looks too cluttered there. I don't like text. I don't like the text on there. That just looks messy now to me. I much prefer, even if you can't see the text because it's so low, I think I prefer that. But if you want to know what services I offer, you look a bit closer. I don't know. I do wish I went more simple and I wouldn't say it's obvious. You wish you went more simple. That's a different van there, isn't it? You've got two vans, obviously. You have got quite a lot of text on there, but it's... Um, the logo's the dominant bit. I don't know, I think yours looks good. Thanks to everyone that's liking the live stream, by the way. That does help put it up on the... Uh, helps other people see it if you were to click the like button under the live stream. I can see the little likes coming up. Thank you. Could you make the logo fill up the whole side? Yeah, I'm not sure I like the look of that. Less is more. Do both to highlight it because some domestic might think a van like that is commercial. Do you think? 
do you think do you think people would look at that and think oh he's he wouldn't be able to do my drive like he, he only does big projects sort of thing unless I state commercial and domestic You sent a pic on Insta. Oh, you mean, um, you mean like a, a silhouette like that? Oh, looks pretty cool. If only it was higher res. That one's quite cool without the blue. Come on, show me a good one. That one I'll do. See, that one worked. Not gonna be able to find this now, am I? Come on. I don't know what I saved it as. I'm assuming it's silhouette. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. That's the wrong way. This would be too difficult to do. Um, I think clear to like a black fade in vinyl would be very difficult. I'm liking the look of that though, to be honest. <clears throat> What do you think of that?
That actually looks really cool. <laughs> Smouts pressure washing across the two panels, filling the whole side of the van. Hey, what's happening, Spencer? Welcome. Uh, we're just trying to do some sign writing for my van, really. I don't like that text being all the way up there. I get your logic about it's gonna it's gonna get dirty down the bottom, but I don't think I care. I think I think I just think that looks better. Does anyone else? You can clean it, that's a good point, you can clean it, because you've got a pressure washer. Looks better at the bottom. Hello, I'm from the UK, aged 14. Do you recommend, recommend me starting a pressure washing business? If so, any tips? Yes, absolutely. The only thing being a 14-year-old, can you get public liability insurance as a 14-year-old? But otherwise, start 100%. If you're young and you're hungry and you want to earn some money, just get one and do your friends and families. Get a cheap pressure washer, not an electric one, get a petrol one and start doing your families. 100% go for it. I don't think it needs to say the words clearing and cleaning. You make a very good point. That is a very good point because it's obvious. I can just put gutters, PVC, and then I can fit more on then. Roofs, and then I can put solar panels. means you can make the text a bit bigger and bolder then. I'm not liking this orange. I need to change the orange. Thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome, Will Riley. <clears throat> You've now got access to the private Discord if you want to come and have a chat with us. Uh, oh, I saw this the other day. Have a look at this. Someone's machine fell out the back of their van. Imagine how devastated you'd be if that happened. And that's not a cheap machine either. He's got ratchet straps around it. What did he have it strapped to for it to be able to fall out? You'd be devastated. Will, thank you so much for deciding to become a member. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the cult. Just go to a vinyl stickering site and use their make your own design. Uh, is there any site that you'd recommend that's like easy to use that I could just go on and have a go at now? I would keep industrial and commercial as it might bring extra work. Would you say like residential and commercial? Commercial slash residential, no matter if the customer want the job done. What do you mean? Commercial, residential. No matter if customer wanna the job done. I've taxed on the lower panels. I've taxed on the lower panels of my van and it's no issue. Do you mean you've got text on the lower panels of your van and it's no issue? 
Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking that looks good. Not sure I'd be able to steal that steal that logo though, that um little image. What is obvious to you may not be obvious to others. Customers like to be informed and all wording can only help. That's true. I just don't like the van to look messy, that's all. I don't like it to look too cluttered and texty. I think this looks pretty sick, to be honest. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I think we need to work on the oranges and try and get them matching. Make the orange look good. What are we thinking about this chappy? No silhouette, it looks like clip art. <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to state commercial or domestic. QR code on the back so people can snap it while driving. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe on the back door, maybe. But at the same time, the real estate on the back is limited because I've got a ladder on the back now. I've got a ladder covering one door. So I want my logo on the back, so that's going to be on the other door, isn't it? So where's the QR code going to go? You know what I mean? No harm done if you do state it. Yeah, it's just extra text. Defo needs website and then potential customer will see. Oh, also what I'll do is... I was also going to put like the Facebook and Instagram logos. I could do them in orange as well, couldn't I? Like a nice matching bright orange. And then the Instagram one next to it. <clears throat> Maybe. Your van is effectively free advertising to hundreds of eyes in a day of driving. So by not making it clear and obvious, what you do is a wasted opportunity. This is just my opinion. You are right. Um, but if you're not looking for a specific, if you're not looking for a particular service, do you actually do you actually read what's on the side of vans? You know when vans have got all that text plastered over them, do you read any of it? Or do you look at the nice ones that have got like a three quarter wrap with like a nice bold logo and maybe not much text? Do you know what I mean? Do you not look at those ones more that have got like a prominent bold logo and it's like cool, nice colours? And then just a, a very brief description of what they do. I look at those ones more, but personally. It also opens you up to a certain community knowing what you have inside your van. I'm in the middle of deciding whether to get my van signed or not. Yeah, I mean, I don't think pressure washing is necessarily... Do people want to steal pressure washers? Or do people want to steal drills? And generators and stuff. I don't know if... I mean, mine's all bolted down, so no one's going to steal my pressure washer. The only thing that would be slightly valuable, I suppose, is the gutter vacuums. But I don't always keep them in the van anyway. <clears throat> Can you turn that picture around? Oh, you've done it. <laughs> Get it to look like he's washing your logo off. Uh, will you be adding pure seal approved applicator to your van signage? I'm just getting my design sorted. So this is very interesting. Um, we could do, couldn't we? They do. I think they do send out. I think I've already got the logo. I've got the logo somewhere. I've 
I've got it on my website. <clears throat> oh, it's all zoomed in, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I could ask them for a sticker, couldn't I? I think they do do them. They do do. The guy looked good. Try connect the end of the hose to the orange bit around the logo. Also change the orange and find the picture to cobble block attach the end of the lance. And find a picture to cobble block to attach the end of the lance. I don't know what you're saying. Um, I know what you mean about connecting the hose. I don't know if I could do that very easily. I'm not very good at this sort of stuff. Something like this. <laughs> Oh no, don't connect it. That's fine. Um. <clears throat> that might be perfect. Pretty funny. <laughs> Doesn't make sense because it's uh... actually I quite like. <laughs> I quite like that. Is that stupid? I wonder if me she would make me another coffee. Can I please have another big coffee, me lover? The choice of image is vast, way too much, though a picture paints a thousand words, as is said. The choice of image is vast. <clears throat> Just seeing he's fixed the, that pressure washer. Was the unloaded? Was the unloader and wheels damaged? He's fixed the pressure washer. Oh, did you go onto his Facebook page? John Houghton, Houghton, John Houghton. How you spell it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I've got a new review from today. Looks as good as the day it was laid eight years ago. Oh. Thanks, Phyllis. <clears throat> Less is more. It can turn your brain off with too much written. Yeah, I agree. Jake, are you set? Jake, are your set of ladders on the wrong way? Should it not be the largest set at the bottom? Um... 
the the biggest set is at the bottom so the triples are at the bottom i have to put them upside down um else the clamps don't go all the way down so the the biggest heaviest set is at the bottom and then my light my light um double ladders are at the top my basic ones <clears throat> is that wrong i guess from here it looks like the bigger ones are on the top but they're actually not the longer i mean they're not even longer when they're closed they're a little bit longer i suppose Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, thanks. I just jumped on Fortnite next to you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Can I have a tablespoon of coffee? Tablespoon? Yeah. Maybe like not a heaped tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Milk. Give it a real good stir, else I get loads of bits on it. Mm -hmm. And then ice, please. Yeah. Thank you. Don't do the signage yourself. I've seen how straight your ladders are. I'm not... <laughs> I'd never even dream of attempting to put any sort of vinyls on my car. Like, or van or whatever. Vinyl wrapping looks so difficult. Incoming demonetized. Why is this guy wearing a lab coat? Build. Shush. <laughs> Get him to spray the Facebook logo. Yeah, I don't know if it'd look good. I did experiment with spray in my first logo. And it it didn't really look that great. He's taking all the panels out. He's actually fully took the bonnet off. That's interesting. Okay. Are you going to do any wrapping? He's probably doing a very, very good explanation right now, but I can't... Um, I can't play the audio because I got demonetized last time I did this. Why is he only doing a little bit? Oh, here we go. <gasps> this is so satisfying. Partner program gone again, I know. <laughs> It looks so satisfying, but I know for a fact I'd mess it up. I mean, he messed it up just then and he pulled it back off and did it again. So it must be quite forgiving stuff. But it also costs a lot of money. And so to waste, to do like a, even just a bonnet like that, and then to mess up it or to nick it or for something to go slightly wrong, you've wasted all that material. I don't know how it stays sticky. Is it activated by the heat? Or does the heat just allow you to stretch it? Because it's very sticky stuff. And most of the time, like, if you drop a sticker on the floor, and it gets a bit of dust on it. It's just... It's useless. So is this the same? You get a bit of dust on the back of this, and it's just... Oh, he was doing that very confidently then, wasn't he? It looks so good. A matte black wrap looks so good. On a scale of 1 to 10, how stressed were you when that happened? Um, oh, thank you so much. I mixed it like to high heaven, so... Mixed it to high heaven. Yeah. You might be able to answer this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how stressed was I when... Um, when I got demonetized on YouTube. Not very. Not very. 
No. I think I was quite calm, wasn't I? Yeah. I was more stressed. I said it and you were like, you're joking. Yeah, because of the way you reacted. Yeah, I think I said it quite calmly and you was like, no, you're lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a decent... It's a decent amount of money every month, isn't it? There's... Okay, bye. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were playing. Sorry. Mid-conversation, yeah. mid you just walk off. <laughs> I thought you were talking to them. Okay. Love you. Yeah. First game, and I've died because of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> you didn't even get to land. She didn't even get to land on Fortnite. She died. This isn't a knife, by the way, guys. This is uh, one of them. My son's got it. It's not sharp. It's not a knife. It's just a metal thing. <clears throat> Don't want to get demonetized again for showing a bloody knife on stream. Hmm. This is so good. I'm going to be up all night. I'm going to have another go at editing the video tonight. I will show you a bit of footage from it. If you like. Because I was doing what I think was quite an interesting video. Um, and I was doing a test. Where I was seeing if... I could get um, good results with the flat surface cleaner on block paving. Oh, that's going to be loud, isn't it? So this is what this video was all about. And I will have this one out this week. I just, every time I tried to make any kind of change in the software, the whole thing crashed. And then it got to the point where it was crashing every time I opened the project. And it was midnight last night and I was just getting so angry with it. And I thought, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting myself through it. Yeah. <clears throat> There's loads of caffeine in that. It's um yeah, it's a, a tablespoon of coffee. I think in a pint of milk, that's not so bad, is it? I mean you're still getting a tablespoon of coffee in your system, but my eyes are gonna end up going crossed. Start talking at hundred mile an hour. You have a great voice. Thank you so much. It's, it's it's the microphone. The microphone makes me sound sexy. Joking. <clears throat>
type it very often. Uh, about that big. Perfect. Oh. <clears throat> Something feels too blank on that back panel. I agree. I do agree, but... What do I stick there? What do I put here? Do I just list the services? You need a slogan. Oh, that's interesting. I've never thought of a slogan. A slogan. Something about keep them, keep them keen, keep them clean. <laughs> Stupid. Let's look at someone else's for inspiration. Pressure washing van. That's very simple and it, it's to the point and I like it and it's clean. See, that's cool. Oh, why is it open? It's so small. And of course, it's a video. The simple ones with a big logo are cool. But I don't necessarily want to make my logo any bigger because it's not really a logo. It's just a way of me saying what the business is. Mine is get clean, keep it clean. Get clean, keep it clean. Smout don't tout. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> what about keep smouts on the left side and pressure washing and phone number on the right side? Ooh. Ooh. I wanted to eventually get to the point where it's just like an umbrella company of like smelt or smelt services. So I could, I like your thinking there. I could do, uh, where's the logo? Without smelt, you're now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, no. Oh, I've done all the text on the same layer. Damn it. He's messed that right up. And then we can do this. We can do this. Now we can do this. And that logo still kind of works. Oh, that still kind of works. 
Oh. And then I can move that. Where's that phone number? That looks kind of messy now, doesn't it? <clears throat> Benji, yeah, um, that's how it was before. And I agree with you, I think. You actually have the three word ad, which is proven to help people. You have Smouts pressure washing. Think just do it, Nike. Every little helps, Tesco. It's as the price. The list goes on and on. You're right, you're right. Smouts pressure washing. Without Smout, you're now. That made me laugh. What does Smout mean? That's just my surname. Smouts exterior cleaning. Very generic. I don't like it. I want to be a little bit different. Use Mark's suggestion. No. Nah. Everyone goes the exterior cleaning route. And I don't think I want to. I don't know. Um, I kind of liked how we had it before. This is too messy now. What do we think of that? I mean, it does seem a shame to waste that panel on the back. That free panel. That free real estate. But... I think I don't think it needs any more, does it? Does it need anything else? We freshen your grout. We <laughs> Get fresh grout with smelt. <laughs> Why are you re envisioning your wheel? Do you want your service to be understand at first glance or not? Sorry, why are you reinventing the wheel? Do you want your services to be to be understand at first glance? I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just looking at my options, mate. That's all. Smouts exterior cleaning on the left, pressure washing on the right. But wouldn't pressure washing go with these services down the bottom? Which I'm a huge fan of. I like I like this bit at the bottom. I think I want the text to be a little bit more squished than that though. Maybe not that squished. Do, do. <laughs> now the lower ones are sub services. Oh, I didn't think of that. Pressure washing is the main service and then you've got sub services. Watch out, smouts about. <laughs> I think it needs a silhouette. A pic says a thousand words. You think it needs our boy? I don't know. I think it does look pretty cool, but someone mentioned it looks like clip art, and that's going to stay with me now. I can't look at it the same again. <laughs> I could make my own version of this. I could probably look at my own images and make my own. I'm sure I could find one. This would make a great silhouette for uh, for gutter clearing. The one of Callum. If I drew round him, that would look really cool. If that was like my main service. 
I wonder if anyone makes a living off just gutter clearing as a main service. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <clears throat> the orange banner diagonally across the van from the top left, just missing the T at the bottom right. <clears throat> uh, what are you saying? The orange banner diagonally across the van from the top left, just missing the T, just missing to T, just missing the T to bottom right. What? The orange banner diagonally across the van from top left. I don't know what you're saying. Can you reword that? That's fried my brain, that has. This with the orange hose coming out of the logo. Uh, by the way, if anyone's putting links in the chat, um, we could fill the hose in orange. We could do that. Um, your links won't show in the chat. If anyone's putting links in, oh, what? Why can't I click these? Oh, that's why. There we go. Something like that. But like going all the way into his working. Phone number should be at the bottom bigger. Phone should be at bottom bigger. Phone should be at bottom bigger. Am I reading the chat wrong or is everyone typing really weirdly tonight <laughs> this phone number should be bigger do you think oops That looks good, doesn't it? The hose looked really good coming from the side of the van. The hose looked really good coming from the side of the van door. Do you think? Without the... Uh, without that. Gutters should be at right with Guy. What does that mean? Gutters should be at right with Guy. You think the text should be over here? <laughs> Am I just reading stuff like... Try a cartoon logo, Google Images. Try a cartoon logo. You mean of like... <laughs> Smelts washes grouty. Smouty washes grouty. <laughs> Smelty washes grouty. <laughs> Looks like it's coming from the machine inside the van. I agree. That's why I put it there. I was going to have it coming from this side, but I think it looked better coming coming out of the gap in the door. I could even do like a... Watch this. Have a little look at this. Ready? I could do...
I don't think you'd be able to do this in um, <clears throat> in vinyl, though. I think it'd be too difficult. Imagine this. That looks pretty sick, doesn't it? It looks like the door's open. I impress myself sometimes. Bloody hell. That's karma, that is, for being too cocky. I spilled coffee all down myself. Sack the orange banner uh, text off. Sack the orange banner and text off. You reckon? I disagree. Oh, actually. Oh, you might be right, you know. You need to do something different with the orange at the bottom. Two people in a row have just said that. You don't like the orange at the bottom? You think it's too much? If there's a silhouette, make him big enough to look like it's life-size person doing the actual floor so you wouldn't see his feet, basically. Ooh, that's a nice idea. But then... His hose would be in a weird, a weird place, but we can try it. We can try it. How big would he be? Is that how big a person is? That looks pretty cool, to be honest. We have to do some modification. Do we like that positioning or should I move him back a little bit? About there. I reckon the hose could probably stop here, couldn't it? Oh, got rid of too much there. Something like that. Duplicate it first. Damn it. You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> I should have made another layer as a test. Damn it. Just missing the T in smelt. What do you mean? Darren, what are you, what are you saying? Get orange spray for the wheels. Those wheels would not look good in orange. I can I can guarantee you. I never know how to do this accurately. Oh, I can do it from the center. And then oh damn it, messed it up. Oh, 
I, I don't, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> it doesn't. It's not going to look good. You want gloss black wheels and orange plastic on the van to match your logo. <gasps> gloss black. I like the idea of gloss black wheels. Orange plastic. You reckon these bits on the side should be orange? Eww, I don't know. Not, not keen on that idea. Do you reckon that man looks too big now? He looks a bit of a giant, did he? I want to know what Darren's saying. Darren, he wants an orange streak. An orange banner diagonally across the van from the top left, just missing the T. Hmm. An orange streak diagonally across the van from the top left, just missing the T. You mean like just like that? And then this top bit orange. <gasps> that scared me. Leon, welcome. How you doing, mate? Oh, damn it. How'd you go back? Um. Oh. Oh, God. Let's start again. I hope this is what he means, because if it's not... <laughs> Let me figure out how to go back. Mm -hmm. This is a weird live stream, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm having fun. And then are you saying make that orange? Is that what you're saying? Honestly, I don't like the orange from the logo for this van at the moment. That's more like it. No, this is going to be very hard to visualize. Not worth it. Sorry. Maybe try the orange banner at the top of the van. All those jobs are above height. Starting a business ASAP. You're such a massive, massive help. John Rose, thank you so much, mate. Love the hangouts. Makes Mondays better. Ah, oh. Control Z, is it? Is it Control Z? Okay, thank you. Do we do the orange banner in here? That could look very cool, actually. That could. Let's try that. Do, do, do. And then do we go all the way down to here? Then we can put all our text in here, can't we? <clears throat> Where's our text from before? Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm liking this so far. Obviously, that would curve. That would have to curve ever so slightly.
Where's that just gone? Is it underneath the layer? What do we think of that? Not sure about this phone number sat here on its own now. That feels weird to me. Your sirens away from an ambulance with straight orange stripe, mate. <laughs> Ambulances aren't orange. What are you talking about? Who gave you a pack of crayons? <laughs> Man needs to be smaller and maybe an orange cap. Maybe try this. Keep the logo and the numbers on the side door, on the slide door. Back panel have a different have different services you provide. For exa example, gutters, solar panels, like stacked in orange font. And on the front door, have your social media tag. I need a wee. I'll be back in a minute. Actually, yeah, watch an advert. I'll be back in a sec. Now these videos take a lot of time and effort to film and edit on top of trying to run a successful pressure washing business. If you find any of the information in my videos useful, then I'd like for you to consider becoming a paid member of the channel. Circle members and above will get access to my private Discord for members only where you can pretty much get a hold of me 24 hours a day for inspiration, technical help, marketing advice, or just a general chat. I post pictures and videos that you won't see on any of my other socials. You'll be the first to hear about giveaways, special offers, and announcements. And it's just generally a nice place full of like-minded people who are all heading towards similar goals. We've got various different experience levels. We've got a few professionals in the chat as well. If you wanna push your business, in my opinion, this is the place to be. We also have two other membership tiers. One is just to show a bit of support for the channel and the other one is for boosted members which will not only give you access to the private Discord but also loads of high quality promotional images for you to start your business. I know what it's like when you're ready to get going but you don't have any before and after pictures to put on your leaflets. At the moment there's about 150 images that you can use for pretty much whatever you like and my intention is to constantly update these over the next few years with all of my before and afters that have helped promote my business. Last thing before I let you go New videos come out every Monday night at half five and then I go live at half seven to chat to you guys and answer as many questions as possible. We do live quotes for real customers and just generally keep up to date with everything going on in the pressure washing world. Thanks for watching, back to the video. Welcome back. Oh, coffee's so much better than beer. I feel great. Um, I think I've had enough of this. Should we do something else? <clears throat> I need some like, I need someone to say, yeah, that looks good. No one said, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Everyone just keeps throwing different ideas and I keep changing stuff and I don't like it as much. Your banner that was along the bottom, it does look good. <laughs> right, I'm off. Gym at, gym at 4 a.m. Why are you going to the gym at 4 a.m.? My name is Jake, by the way, not Jack, but thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. It does look good. Your banner that was along the bottom, put it like diagonally. I don't know about that. <clears throat> One kiss is all it takes. I still like this.
I'm not going to put a man on the side of my van. Like that's, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to get rid of him. It does look pretty cool, but I'm just not going to do it. I know, I know myself. I like that. And I don't know why no one else doesn't like it. I don't know why no one else likes it. I think that looks fine. It's obviously going to be, you're going to see the panel gaps and stuff. It's going to be less crazy. Do people not like that? I quit too. <laughs> right at the bottom. I like that. I WhatsApped you. I've got lots of messages on WhatsApp. Bloody hell. Dan's sending me photos of ambulances. Benji's messaged. You love that with the orange across the bottom. Finally, I've got some positive feedback. <laughs> That's what Dan sent. Idiot. See, that's simple. Less writing, more just fanciness. I like that better. Just some like... A bit of art. And then this is Benji's new one. He's been designing this today. See, I don't like the photos. Lots of people put photos on their van. And I don't think it suits... Of Obviously, you said your van's silver. But... <clears throat> one big, like... Coloured object. To then have, like, a photo on it. I think it looks really out of place. Personally. But loads of people do photos. Squeaky clean Dave. Um, Squeaky clean Dave's got. Um, he he's doing a massive transformation of his of his ambulance. Um, that's his van. Oh, it's gone too fast. Damn it. So his current one, well, the, the ambulance is his current one, but um, that's his van. He's got the photos on it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it can work. And that looks that looks smart from the side actually. Thanks for the sub. Mick Hen, welcome. Oh he's changed that. Those are those are different. Got the second van back. Oh we had two vans. Yeah, so done right, it can clearly look good, but I just don't know if I'm a huge fan of the, the photos, to be honest. Is that the expo? How come he went early? Who's going to the expo? Let's do a vote in the chat. How do I do it? <clears throat> Oh, 
Ah, uh, am I signed in on the wrong thing? I can't do a I can't do a poll. Doesn't matter. Do people think their van are leaflets? Shots fired. That is smart but hard to read the writing. Don't like the photos, too busy. Softwash guys, YouTube logo is quite clever. Uh, this, that logo, YouTube logo. The expo is a two hour drive. Is the expo worth a two hour drive? It depends what you want to get from the expo. If uh, you just want to have a walk around and a mooch and chat to the suppliers, maybe not. If you want to buy some bargains, possibly. I didn't spend anything the first time I went because I didn't know what I needed. I didn't know what I wanted. I just wanted to sort of have a look around. I'll probably end up spending some money this year. I don't know. The, I don't like the photos either. I am a genius. <laughs> You're so modest, Dan. If you're going for the orange banner with the text, put it at the top. I don't know. I like it at the bottom. I think it looks so much smarter. I do see everyone else with it at the top because it's like you can clearly see the services then even in a car park and stuff but I prefer looks over practicality <laughs> that's stupid isn't it for a commercial vehicle stupid I'm driving from west of Scotland seven and a half hours straight driving no way what are you hoping to see at the expo then uh, Drasdy I don't think I've seen your name in chat before, but welcome. What are you uh, hoping to get from the from the expo to make it worth that sort of drive? I know some of the lads from some of the lads from Manchester are booking a hotel and they're staying overnight. Have you seen the van for a plumber? Have you seen the van for a plumber? The driver's side is a photo of something sit sitting. The photo of someone sitting on the toilet. Oh, like on the door. Like on the door, it's got like someone sitting on the toilet and then you can just see the guy's head in the window. <laughs> That's pretty good. The orange bottom looks better. I think so. Is this too plain and simple? Is it boring? Or does it do the job? Going with the wife, weekend without kids, visit the expo. That's very cool. I think we're doing the same. Um, but but why is it worth the drive for you? Are you just going to be looking around or are you going to be buying some stuff? It's not boring. Cool. Garden a high pressure water conversion garden a high pressure water for pole conversion kit. That looks pretty good. Presumably you take you take the last one off. These kits fit the thirty foot and the thirty five foot gardener poles. Specifically, 
How does that how does that clamp on? I wonder. Um, did you build your own buffer tank? How long ago did I do the buffer tank video? It's over a year ago now. Did my second job today, went really well. That looks very good. PB Pro Clean, I thought you'd been doing many, many more jobs than that. <coughs> I think PB Pro Clean is the person we gave away the roof scraping kit to from uh, Gutter Vacuum Systems. Oh, that's a nice transformation, isn't it? When these are like fairly new, they always come up so nice. Problem is when they lose their coating, they start to go really crappy. Reconstituted dipped concrete pavers. What buffer tank did you buy? Um, I I don't I don't use the wheelie bin buffer tank, but I I wanted to make a video on one about like the perfect setup and so I just bought this wheelie bin and so, sort of sold it straight after I made the video um, but just sort of explain the purpose of a buffer tank in this video <coughs> my buffer tank um, is like a mounted tank in the back of my van but you could you could just do a wheelie bin if you wanted to some people have like um, a pop-up pop-up garden um what do they call them like a pop-up water but you can use as well i wonder if the phone number could go could go along the top This seems like an ideal space for the phone number there, doesn't it? It could go up there. Something like that. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm settled. I'm settling on this, I think. Potentially buying, looking for ideas for van setups for window slash pressure washing, cleaning, and hope it will be a carpet cleaning stuff too. I think Nord usually go there with their carpet cleaning chemicals. Well, they did, they, they went a couple of years ago when I last went. Forgot it's Monday, feels like Sunday. Hi, Jake. Hooper, welcome. How you doing, mate? <clears throat> Has anyone got any um like technical questions just while we're I don't I don't really I'm probably gonna go for about another ten or fifteen minutes. Um I think I'm happy with that. So if anyone's got any questions that have been bugging them, this might be a good opportunity to see if I can maybe help. I will do my best to answer some questions for people because I know people seem to get quite a lot of 
benefit from these live streams, especially the ones that rewatch them later in the week. <clears throat> I don't like it either. It looks better at the bottom. Um, hi, uh, have a look at my van. I sent you a message. It's similar with a silhouette. Oh, uh, where did you send the message? Where did you send it? <clears throat> Was it on Instagram? Business text message. Business text message. What's that? Google? Um. Oh yeah. Google Maps. You've messaged me on Google Maps. Um, how do I get to that then? On the PC. It's got to be on like Google My Business, isn't it? Uh, messages. Luke. Mine's got a silhouette and the man with the colour striped across the... So you can do something that's similar with the orange. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. Is that um, a guy with a window cleaning, like a window cleaning pole? Can't quite tell. <clears throat> How did you do that silhouette? Was that something you found online? Or was that like a picture of you that you've cut out and darkened? Uh, maybe a stupid question, but what if the customer doesn't have an outside tap? That's not a stupid question. Um, it actually happened today on today's job. Um, on on this driveway. Yeah, this rear patio. Um, and this drive that we were doing. See, see, we're going through the window there. We, the lady, because she doesn't have an outside tap, and it's something she she often she often needs water outside, obviously. So she's got an adapter that she screws into the bottom of her tap. Not not all inside taps are like adapter friendly, but if you look on, you can just Google um, tap adapter maybe so you can get these hose lock ones for mixer taps um, those come in two different sizes so you can have the small mixer taps or the fat ones these ones go sort of on top of they sort of clamp on top of the tap and clamp down for like that sort of tap um, there's loads of different options available for these and it's it's good to have like one of each in the van um, they're not massively expensive, but oh, I've actually got a bunch of these that I'm not using. I might bring them to the expo and just give them out to people. They were a bargain from when a shop was closing down, so I just bought like 10 of them. <clears throat> um, but if your customer doesn't have an outdoor tap, try and find one that you can fit an adapter to on the inside and if that's still no good because that is quite risky if it pops off it's gonna you know water's gonna go everywhere or you can knock on a neighbor's door slip them a fiver tell them with my machine running full blast it's gonna cost you about 90p an hour in water um so here's a fiver can i can i plug into your water supply Otherwise, unless you've got a massive water tank, you're probably not going to be able to get the job done. So it's important to figure out at the quoting stage. And also if the tap, if, if the water pressure is really low as well, um, that's something that is just like, it's going to make the job 10 times longer. 
Do you normally pressure wash first, then hypo, or hypo first, then pressure wash? I normally pressure wash first. Yeah. And then do whatever chemical treatment I need to do afterwards. Because the way I see it, like yes, hypo can soften like black spots and stuff to, to make it easier to clean afterwards. Or like if you're degreasing, you might want to degrease first and then pressure wash. Um, but I think any chemical treatment is most effective on a surface that's already been pressure washed, surely, because it's getting to the the stuff on the top didn't need a chemical treatment because that came off with just a pressure washer with water. So there's no point in wasting all that chemical on all that thick stuff on the top that didn't need it in the first place. You want it on the stubborn stuff underneath. Um, that's my theory anyway. With concrete, I do often pre-treat concrete and then post-treat it as well with hypo because it's very easy to leave like streaks and tram lines when you're using a flat surface cleaner or a turbo nozzle on concrete. Um, and so if you pre-treat concrete, flat surface cleaner or turbo nozzle, and then post-treat it, you'll be left with like a spotless concrete slab. And uh, <clears throat> I think that's the only surface I tend to pre-treat really. Have you got on with your X-Jet? Have you been using the inserts? No, I've took, an, I've took them out. So without the proportioners, the X-Jet is about one to three, apparently. Um, if I need to dilute it more than that, I'll just I'll pre-dilute it in a barrel and then dilute it again one to three through the X-Jet. But a lot of the time now, I'm just putting hypo down at one to three which is quite strong, but it does the job. Like I'm not faffing around doing multiple treatments. I'm just doing one treatment. It does the job every time. Yes, I'm probably using more hypo, but I'm saving so much time by just going in with like a hot mix first time. <clears throat> uh, Water inlet on those wheelie bin buffer tanks. Why not put them on the side where it's not affected by the lid? Uh, very good point. The reason I did that, the reason I put it there, what you're seeing now, is because it's under the handle. And having it, if it gets bashed around in the van, that outlet is protected by the handle on the top. I probably should have done the same with the one on the bottom with this one i probably should have put it back on the other side really the only trouble with doing that is having your <clears throat> having your inlet above directly above your outlet means when the tank's getting a little bit low when the water is falling down into the tank and creates that kind of whirlpool or disturbance in the water. It's going to push air bubbles. If you imagine your machine is sucking water from the buffer tank, it will also suck those air bubbles in and your, must your machine will start to like run weirdly because it will feel like it's running out of fuel or something because it's getting air instead of water. Um, And if that happens, like, if that's if that's happening constantly while you're pressure washing for hours and hours on end, it's just going to do damage to, like, your unloader valve and to your pump and stuff. And so I think you're better off having your, un your inlet on one side and your outlet on the opposite side. That's my theory anyway. That might be total rubbish, but... <clears throat> makes sense to me and it has happened in the past i've seen it happen where people get air bubbles in their suction hose because it's too close can you tell me more about the pop-up buffer tank um i haven't i've never made one but you can get like a pop up um a pop-up um What's like a pop-up? Yeah, like a flexi tank. Yeah. 
Yeah, like that. I've never seen one of these before, but that looks really good. 225 litres, 85.99. Easy to store, transport and set up. The flexi tank is one of those great ideas. Um, yeah, why not just use one of them? The only issue with that that I can see is attaching, trying to attach a uh, float valve in the top of that to, to make it stop when the water gets to the top. I don't know what they're made of, but it's rigid plastic reservoirs can be awkward to store transport. Plexi tamp is simple, elegant solution. The main tank is fabric made from thick, strong and a flexible material with a zippered lid. That looks really good. I might have to buy one of these just to do another video because that could be a literal game changer for people who are carrying buffer tanks, carrying like bins around with them. Oh, that might ask, that might have to be my next video. And then I could give I could give that away at the end of the video because I don't need it. Ooh, you heard it here first. You saw it here first. If anyone else does a video between now and when I release mine. <laughs> Flexi tank. Oh, you've already you've already said it. There you go. How did you go about pricing your first jobs? Obviously, you didn't want to go out into the local community undercutting the other trades who do the same job and getting a bad name for yourself. Um, I did friends and family a little bit cheaper. And then once I got familiar, I started charging my full price. And then my price just gradually went up alongside the quality of service that I was offering. So in the beginning, I wasn't using any chemicals. Now that I use chemicals, I will charge a bit more because I'm getting better results and I'm spending more. Um, I've got better equipment now, which allows me to clean better and more efficiently. And so my price, my price gradually goes up and <clears throat> it's not that I'm, I wasn't thinking about other people's prices necessarily. Um, yes, you, you need like a market average to make sure you're not absolutely ripping people off or massively undercutting the industry, but it also needs to reflect your level of service and you've just got to be very, this is getting higher and higher and better and better. Not to say my level of service is the best, but I'm just very aware of where I'm at at the moment. And so my my price just sort of reflects that. Um, have you ever tried paving cleaning with just chemical rather than pressure washing? Um, yes. Yeah, I've had to do a few soft washes because there was no water on site. So I fill, I fill my tank with 250 litres of water and that's all I can use for like the soft washing. So I'll do like a strong hypo mix. We did it today um, on this one. Down the side of the house was a path with some very, very bad, bad drainage. And as soon as you put a bit of water on it, that water just sat there and pulled. And that path down the back there. <clears throat> and so it meant we couldn't wash it because it was all dirty down there as well. Both edges, both sides down in that gate behind was just mud. And so as soon as we put some water down, it brought all the mud from the, from the sides and it just pulled on the, on the path. So we swept it. We actually got the, the vacuum out of the car, out the van, vacuumed all the water up. And then I just chemically soft washed it. We just used a pump sprayer to put some hypo down. And sometimes depending on what surface it is, sometimes you can get perfect results. <clears throat> Like with this one, for example, we could have probably gotten away if we didn't want to get rid of all the, if we weren't bothered about getting all the, the weeds from between the joints and stuff, you could probably get a perfect result on this patio by just putting hypo down, strong mix of hypo, and then rinsing it off afterwards. You, you might not need pressure washing, but because we were repointing this one, 
we wanted to blast all those weeds out from between the joints and that that's what you can't achieve when you're soft washing your price is your price yeah but if you don't know how to charge then um then your price is just a guess isn't it <clears throat> but finding the right price to charge for your first time and equipment i guess it would just come from experience trial and error yeah um and ask people i got a lot of feedback from my friends and family when i was saying <clears throat> this is what i think i should be charging for this job this is what i'm going to charge you because i'm just starting out i always charged my friends and family but it was just a lot less than what I, that you'll get a gauge of where people because everyone's different like you a lot of people in the in the roof cleaning community you'll you'll find that you get lots of today we were talking in the discord someone got 10 roof cleaning inquiries and he's he actually got like 30 i think he said but he's quoted 10 of them and not one of them have said yes not one of them have accepted the roof cleaning quotes and it's because some people think roof cleaning it's going to cost them about 300 quid and then they get a price of 1200 quid because they don't know how much work's involved <clears throat> so it's all about like perception and uh, it's also some people aren't even driven by price they want to know that you're going to do a good job and that was the premise of one of my last videos um if you haven't already i suggest if you're new you uh you watch this one here starting your pressure washing business in 2024 <clears throat> i think there's some solid advice in there and selling your service and sh and explaining the process and showing you before and after pictures that you can achieve results and you can get a good job and they can trust you and that you're reliable and you turn up on time that sometimes means way more than the price itself if you're charging say it's a 400 pound job and you're charging 200 quid but you're doing a crap job it's like yeah you get what you pay for but the customer's not going to be happy afterwards they're, they're, they'd much rather pay the 400 quid to get the job done properly so it's less about it's less about the the cost of, of the service and more about um whether or not you can actually get the result i know that doesn't really answer your question i'm sorry it does come with experience um have a look at my quoting tool if you've not already smout.club um, and play about with the pricing on here pull up google earth find a random driveway and put a price together that you think is reasonable let's have a look let's see if we can find a good image of a driveway Is that a good image? That one in the corner there. So it's block paving. I normally charge about four pound per square meter for block paving. We're gonna do a quick rough measurement just based on what I can see on Google Earth. Account for a little bit of overhang on the roof. I'm guessing it goes down the side a little bit there. 110 square meters. Stick it in here. Am I going to be resanding? Yes. And just see if that, I mean, once you've done two or three jobs, you'll realize how much work's involved and how much cleanup there is afterwards and stuff. And you might look at it and think, oh, it's going to take me an hour. But actually, you get halfway through and you're already two hours deep and you've still got half a drive to pressure wash. And then you've got to clean up after yourself as well. And these jobs take a, a little bit longer than people actually expect, especially when you've got like subpar equipment when you're first starting out.
Um, but I'd say for that one, I mean, look how quick I've just put that together. 110 square meters, 440 quid. And I'd say that's about right for that. To pressure wash it and then come back on a dry day to resand it. Nice, quick and dirty quote. I think I've gone a little bit too deep on that garage. I didn't realize that garage was there, so it's probably going to be a lot less than that, actually. But then when you're visiting in person to have a little look, it's good to have good to have your price in mind. So if you can pre-measure on Google Earth, great. But then when you go and visit in person, you want to be checking the water pressure. You want to be checking the drainage and really seriously looking at the drainage and thinking, where is this water actually going to go when I start putting 15, 20 litres per minute down onto this surface? Where's that water going to go? Um, and if you spot any issues, you're like, it might just be a soak away where it's not an actual drain that goes down into the ground. It's just stones or it's just like a, a gully that doesn't actually go anywhere. You've actually got to physically check and ask the customer is this an actual drain? Because I've had it a couple of times where it looks like one of those, is it an alco drain that goes along the side of the house? And there's nothing in it. There's no hole in it. It's just a drain. And then it, I don't know what happens to the water, but as soon as you start putting water down, it just floods. It's pointless. And it adds, it adds hours onto the job. It can be the difference between a job taking an hour and taking three hours. <clears throat> so access, water pressure, drainage. Those are the three things to check because they will they will be they will be the things that make the job take way longer than it should. Hi Jake, in Lidl supermarket they they're selling bags of sand for three pound fifty for kids playing. Um I'm thinking to use that for work, you know. I was uh, I don't know what play sand is when it comes to because you're right it could well be suitable for block paving but i don't know it looks similar to kiln dried sand as long as it's dry no no it's not going to work because it's it's not dried it's not kiln dried and so as soon as you start brushing that it's probably going to clump up and it's not actually going to fall down between the joints Whereas kiln dried sand, you could you could just push it into the joint with your hand and you'll see it falling down into the joints and filling the joints up from the very bottom. If that sand is ever so slightly damp, you'll push it over the joint and it will just sit on top of the joint and it won't actually fill. So I'd probably avoid that personally. <clears throat> Wonder if that flexi tank's good. Yeah, I'd like to have a little look at that. How bad are the fumes in the van with the van mount system? Uh, not bad at all. My exhaust roots straight out the door. Um, the only issue that I have found recently is that unless I've got the back doors open as well, it does get very hot in there. And in the summer, that's going to be... In the summer, that's going to be a bit of an issue, potentially. So my exhaust comes out the bottom there now, straight out into the, uh, straight out into your willy. <laughs> so the, what I'm trying to avoid with the van getting so hot, I don't want, I don't want it to suck hot air in. I think I need like, I might potentially put a cold air feed into it or something, or or just open up all the doors. I don't know yet. I'm not sure, but I don't want the machine to suck hot air in. It needs to suck cold air in really to run efficiently. <clears throat> I wouldn't use that sand. You'll need kiln dried. Yeah, there you go. Um, I got told I was too cheap and too expensive in the same week. Yeah. And that's, that is someone's opinion. Th th those are different people's opinions. And it also, it's very much based on your area as well. If you're in an area where people are used to spending money and spending a lot for their services and contractors, then you can charge what you think you're worth. But unfortunately, if you're, if you're in an area where 
the the income is and, and the living wage is you know less than other places in the uk you might find you have to charge a lot less <clears throat> roof cleaning is a young man's game bloody hard work it is i've only done a few and it is graft absolute graft and the if you're pressure washing the amount of cleanup after pressure washing a roof is crazy and that takes almost as much time as actually pressure washing the roof itself and then if you're scraping your arms fall off at the end of the day once you finish scraping and you put your pole in your van your arms fall off so you've got to be really careful when you're scraping a roof um, how much do you pay for hypo i get mine from tfm farm stores in bromsgrove and i think it's about 28 quid which is a bargain for 25 liters you can get it cheaper some people in my discord have found it cheaper on other places online 28 quid including that for 25 liters of 15 percent hypo i think that's a bargain and last year it was 33 quid including that so in this day and age how often do you find that prices go down very rare very rare that prices go down if a company can get away with charging 33 quid one year and 33 quid the next year why would they bother lowering lowering the price but these people actually lowered the price this year which i find very cool appreciate the reply mate exactly the answer i was after no worries mate no worries at all uh, do you think you can store it i'm not sure on the shelf life appreciate your help do you think you can store hypo how do you mean what do you mean by that i have um i generally have two barrels when I go to the shop, when I go to this farm shop, I buy two. And that normally lasts me two weeks. Maybe three weeks. And I, I just put them in the back garden. As long as it's not like freezing or absolutely boiling outside. In, in which case I might keep them in the shed. Why would you sand it instead of using joint it? Um, so for block paving jobs... Uh, I'll always resand afterwards to stabilize the joints. So with a job like this, for example, once the adverts finish playing, <clears throat> so once I've finished pressure washing any block paved area, I'll come back on a dry day and uh, brush kiln dried sand into these joints because all that sand that I've blasted out does need replacing. So any block paved driveway, when it's freshly laid, it will have kiln dried sand in between the joints. When you pressure wash it, you, you're removing all that sand and you need to replace it. You've got to do that on a dry day. Um, you could use a product called Joint It Fine, which Pure Seal have just started selling. This is a hard setting sand. And so some customers might ask you, they might ask you to seal their drive. Um, and usually the reason they want you to seal it isn't to protect the surface of the blocks. It's to set that sand in between the joints to help prevent the weeds from coming back up through. It'll never stop weeds. Customers think if I have my driveway sealed, I won't, I won't get weeds again. And that's just not the case. They will come back through. It's just a matter of how long. Yes, it slows them down, but you should never make any guarantees or promises that they're not going to get weeds through. But this stuff, um, this sets hard, and it's also like self-repairing as well, where if the, any cracks do form, it'll um, it'll f sort of fill itself and sort of restabilize. Um. And it's permeable, so it doesn't allow the water to sit on top and 
the trouble is with this stuff, you know, kiln dried sand is between four pound and seven pound a bag. This stuff is about 40 pound a bag, I think. Maybe 35, I can't remember. So it's a much better option, but most customers won't pay it. It's cheap, slight, I worked it out, it's slightly cheaper than ceiling and much, much less risk than ceiling as well. So I'm gonna try, this year, I'm gonna try and convince my customers who want their block paving, block paved driveways sealed. I'm gonna try and convince them to, to let me try this stuff instead. Or it removes all of that risk of sealing you know, sealer going wrong and blooming and applying it in the wrong weather conditions and not applying enough coats or, or whatever, running out of sealer. <clears throat> Do they deliver? Yes. We'll send my van design on the Discord for some feedback if okay. A first draft, but any feedback would be spot on. Yeah, send it, send it in the photos or stream suggestions, maybe, wherever you fancy, mate. MKM was almost nine pound for kiln dried sand. I don't know what MKM is, but um, yeah, some. I mean, Wix. What's Wix now? I mean, you can get 10% off at Wix if you open a trade account. £7.60. I think that's the most expensive I've seen it. Um, Travis Perkins do it. <clears throat> See, it says £7.13 there. But if you... Wait, it says five pound thirty there. Oh, that's 20, 20 kilograms compared to twenty five. Um, but if you go in and you open an account and you buy from them regularly, you'll find that they just naturally they just start offering you discounts for no reason. Like I paid, I paid four pound uh, four pound thirty the other day. I paid including VAT, just because they recognised me. I didn't even have a trade account opened. I, I need to do that actually. <clears throat> um i think we're good i think i'm going to leave it there three hours and 25 minutes we've been going um and it's getting late so i'm going to leave it there thank you so much for watching i think there's been some new people in the chat tonight which is very nice to see i'll see you guys at the cleaning expo on the saturday the 13th uh repointing patio wet or dry the brushy and jointing compound you use wet they all say on the side, like, the wetter the better. Um, we did one, we did this one today. We used some easy joint stuff, which I'm not going to use again. The reason I'm not going to use it again is because I had to do this with it. So that's how it comes, it, it arrives dry. You wet the patio down, you make it into like a slurry, just sort of wet everything. Um, but if it's hard like this, take it back and don't use it and get a refund. The pure seal stuff, the, the joint it, the joint it has never uh, arrived like that. It's always vacuum sealed and it's always perfect. Yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks to all the new members that have signed up tonight and I'll see you in the Discord. See you in a bit. Bye bye. Now these videos take a lot of time and effort to film and edit on top of trying to run a successful pressure washing business. If you find any of the information in my videos useful, then I'd like for you to consider becoming a paid member of the channel. Circle members and above will get access to my private Discord for members only, where you can pretty much get a hold of me 24 hours a day for inspiration, technical help, marketing advice, or just a general chat. I post pictures and videos that you won't see on any of my other socials. You'll be the first to hear about giveaways, special offers, and announcements. And it's just generally a nice place full of like-minded people who are all heading towards similar goals. We've got various different experience levels. We've got a few professionals in the chat as well. If you want to push your business, in my opinion, this is the place to be. 
We also have two other membership tiers. One is just to show a bit of support for the channel and the other one is for boosted members which will not only give you access to the private discord but also loads of high quality promotional images for you to start your business. I know what it's like when you're ready to get going but you don't have any before and after pictures to put on your leaflets. At the moment there's about 150 images that you can use for pretty much whatever you like and my intention is to constantly update these over the next few years with all of my before and afters that have helped promote my business. Last thing before I let you go, new videos come out every Monday night at half five and then I go live at half seven to chat to you guys and answer as many questions as possible. We do live quotes for real customers and just generally keep up to date with everything going on in the pressure washing world. Thanks for watching, back to the video.